In this tutorial, I'll be going over how to upload a mask to Finch using Revit. To get started, I will go ahead and find the installed Finch plugin under the add-ins tab. I'll click the Finch icon and the panel will show up over here on the right. Under the account tab, I will log in with my Finch account. And here in the project page, I can select the project and variant that I would like to upload to. To upload, I use the massing tab and the BIM tab is used to download a complete project from Finch back into Revit. To create the mass, I will head over to the massing and site tab and create a place mass. I can use any method to create my mass as long as it is a mass family. Multiple building geometries that are located within the same mass object will be automatically Boolean unioned upon upload. This means that if I have multiple parts of the building that I want to be joined, I need to put draw both of those parts in the same mass object. Once I've created my mass, I can now go ahead and add a center line as well as stairwell attractor points. These are useful for running the generate floor plate algorithm if I'm not going to use a custom core. The center line allows the algorithm to understand where to place any corridors that it generates. To add the model line, I will go ahead and select a model line and add it to the building. And then I will change the graphic line style to center line so that Finch can actually read it as a center line when it's uploaded. Go ahead and hit apply. And now I've added my center line. I can go ahead and select the variant that I would like to upload to. In this case, it is the variant called Revit. And under here, I can see some options. This checkbox will filter the massing upload to elements that are visible in the current active view. So that means anything that's hidden in this view will not be uploaded. In this case, it will just upload the building as that is everything that's in the file. I can also see down here that Finch has found one building mass and that's what I'm going to upload. And this is just helpful to check if you're working in a file that has a lot of data and you might not want to upload all of it. Once everything looks good, I will go ahead and hit upload massing. Once that's completed, my building is now up in Finch. Once I finish generating my building in Finch, I can head back down into Revit to export it. Here in Revit, I will select my variant from the drop-down menu and then open the BIM tab and hit download BIM. Once it's finished downloading, I now have a complete Revit model in my Revit file. I can see that all of the elements that have been downloaded are actually families, not meshes. So I can simply just go ahead and select all instances of this Finch firewall and convert it to my own custom templates. In addition to dividers and rooms, I have also received area plans for both the GFA and the NIA, allowing me to create quick custom schedules with all of the data that I have up at Finch.